If you want success with portable amateur radio, you're going to need a good antenna. Wire antennas are great, but how do you get the wire up in the air? Well, there's several things you could do. You could use a kite, but if there's no wind, then there's a problem there. Or if the wind's very volatile, going in all different directions, then that's not so good either. Another possibility is you could throw a wire or line up into a tree. But that can be a bit hit and miss. And especially if you're operating from a public place, then that's not so good either, especially if you're in a national park. Then there's beaches where I operate from a lot, and there's no trees there. So, a lot of the time, if you want assured success with wire antennas, you're going to have to bring your own support. And that's where this pole that I'll review today comes in. It's a nine meter split pole, it's very light, it telescopes, and it can support a wire antenna like an NFED, vertical, or even a dipole, if you make it really light. And it's strong, it's robust, easy to carry, and it's about 1.15 meters long, so you could even sort of use it as a walking stick. You can get on air with just one of these as an antenna support mast for an antenna like an inverted V or NFED, but often it's good to have two. With two, you can have a lot of different types of antennas. For instance, you could have a half square, like I've previously described in my video, or even a two element delta loop thing, so you have a bit of gain and directivity. Anyway, today I'm reviewing this nine meter long squid pole from Haverford. They're an Australian supplier, haverford.com.au, and I suggest checking out their range of squid poles for reasons that I'll explain later on, as there's a special offer coming up. Anyway, a squid pole is, you've probably seen it before in some of my other videos, it's a telescoping pole. There's, I think, about nine sections, about a metre or so long. They start off in the middle, very thin like this. Here in the middle, you can see an eyelet where you can thread a wire or string through that can support part of your antenna. You could even support the wire antenna directly from it. Here's the end cap. It's a good idea to paint it yellow or something because they very easily get lost in the ground. Especially if after you're operating portable, it's getting dark and you realize too late once you get home that you've missed the top. So paint it yellow or something so it stands out. Right here is the bottom and that can screw out. That is sometimes important if you're doing maintenance on the pole or need to replace a section, then yep, the bits slide in through here. Alright, we'll give it a shake and We'll extend it, and it extends very quickly. You can set up an antenna in just a few minutes. I've done previous videos showing that. For fastening the pole to, say, a fence post, I suggest Velcro like this.
Then when you're finished, you just put all the poles in and it very quickly packs up. That's really important if you're going portable. Nothing worse than having rain suddenly appear or a thunderstorm and you've got an antenna system with lots of little bits, easy to get lost, hard to see in the dark and you might still be there half an hour or even longer putting your antenna down when you'd really rather be on your way home. So yeah, a squid pole like this is a way of getting an antenna putting it back down very quickly. So ideal for portable operating. Whatever band you're using from HF through to VHF, UHF, a script pole like this is going to be really handy in your portable operating kit. And even if you're in a location, um, if your home location doesn't permit antennas, you might be able to get up away with something that's temporary, or maybe you can just put it up at night. Well, something like this is great. You can. Just extend the pole, have your wire, get on air and take it down and no one is any the wiser. If you want to know more about this pole, go to haverford.com.au. There's a range of poles, shortest are 3 metres, longest are 10 metres and I think you'll be quite pleased at the price. They do deliver within Australia. For a discount to get an even lower price, then type in the promo code VK3YE for a 10% discount. So that's haverford.com.au. I think you'd agree it's a pretty essential item to have in your portable amateur radio or QRP kit. So yeah, great product, highly recommend them, suggest you check them out. This is the antenna I'm going to use, N-fed wire, fine wire, about 22 metres long. That will be good for 40 and 20 metres and sort of okay on the other bands. few minutes putting up the antenna and then a short time later working into the UK GW3 YDX on 10 megahertz CW you don't get that success every day but to be in the running you do need a good antenna and that means a good support which is where this pole from Haverford can really help <laughs> 